Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Pandemic Pantry. Today is Thursday, May the 14th. Jim, is it the 14th today? Either the 15th. I, I think it's the 14th. The days are going by so quickly. Um, it's uh, supposed to be 70 degrees today, which I'm really excited about, but it's very cloudy and I don't know if we're going to get outside or not, but I have a few covered shelters because I understand it is also National Caesar Day, so help everybody have a, a Caesar for me. That would be awesome. Today what I'm going to make is sauteed um, chicken breasts, puntinesca style, which probably would go really nice with a Caesar. This is... Or pasta, my fave. Well, yes, but I'm talking about the drink part. Um, <laughs> this is a super, super quick meal to make. It really will take you less than 30 minutes to make this. And it's very easy. Anybody can do it. I am making it just for the two of us, but you can make the recipe. You can double the chicken. There's a plenty of sauce to add a couple more chicken breasts to this. So what I did um, is I took two chicken breasts and we want them to cook evenly. So I pounded them out. And how I did that was um, I took the two chicken breasts and I put them between a piece of wax paper and then I used a um, meat mallet to a flat mallet to pound them out just so that they were about even um, even thickness if you don't have a mallet you can use a uh, rolling pin you can use a can something heavy just don't use a glass bottle because well you know it might break so what we're going to do is we're going to um, heat our pan to medium high heat and you're going to add just a couple of teaspoons of olive oil. You don't need a lot of olive oil and you're going to saute the chicken breasts for about five minutes um, on one side. You, you want the chicken to be nice and brown and crispy. Don't get... Um, don't move it. Yeah, don't move it. Don't get anxious because you don't want gray chicken, you want a nice colored golden chicken. So I have sauteed my chicken breasts already on one side for about five minutes. I'm going to flip them over and they'll just need about three more minutes um, on the next side. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll move on to the sauce. So my chicken has been sauteed on both sides. I'm just going to remove it from uh, the pan so that we can move on to the sauce. Um, my cameraman pointed out a couple of things to me. I completely forgot to tell you that before you saute your chicken, uh, make sure you season it with some salt and pepper on both sides, just a light season or however you like. If you like more salt, go for it, but just a little bit of salt and pepper on both sides. Um, and also um, a tip I forgot to share with you, when you are pounding out the chicken, I did it between two sheets of wax paper, but you can put your chicken in like a Ziploc, like a large a freezer. freezer bag and pound it out. That way you don't get any splash. You don't get any mess over your kitchen counters or um, less, less, less to clean up. So we're going to move on to the sauce now, which is, I've got here two teaspoons of butter. And by the way, after you have done your chicken, I did mine in a nonstick pan. If you don't have a nonstick pan and you do it in a regular pan, you're going to see a lot of the brown bits in your pan from sauteing your chicken breast, but you want that. So don't worry about that. Um, that'll come up as we add all the rest of the sauce ingredients. So I'm going to add, um, two teaspoons of butter here to my pan and I forgot my spatula. I'm just gonna get that. And to the butter, I've got here three cloves of garlic and I've got a half a teaspoon, a, a good half a teaspoon of chili flakes. If you uh, don't like chili flakes or if that's too spicy for you, don't add them, but it really does add some nice flavor and just add a little bit if you're concerned about it. And we're just going to let that saute for a couple of uh, seconds here. Just you want it, you want to be able to smell uh, those wonderful flavors of the garlic and the chili flakes, which is mm, 
smells really good already. And to that, you're going to add, I have here some chopped Kalamata olives. I usually like to get my olives from the uh, olive bar in the stores. They have all the different kinds of olives, um, but those are all closed. So I had to buy a, a, a jar of Kalamata olives and I chopped them up. Try to avoid using those jarred or the ones in the tin, they're just black olives, they're sliced, they really don't have a lot of flavor. These Kalamata olives will give you that tang and that nice saltiness to this uh, dish. So we're gonna throw in some those Kalamata olives and I have here also some capers, a tablespoon of capers. Again, adds just like a fantastic uh, flavor and that brine and salt is really lovely in this. That's my favorite This part. sauce, it is, they're so good. And the very last ingredient is I have a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. You can use any kind of diced tomato you want. You can use fresh tomatoes if you, if you have them. You can dice them up. Um, you can even do it with cherry tomatoes and, and cut them up. But this is, again, this is just to make it such a simple recipe. That is literally all there is to it. I'm mixing them up a little bit. Oh my God, does it ever smell good? Does it smell great? This is the recipe. Literally all I'm going to do is let this um, simmer for about three minutes until, just until it reduces slightly. Then I'm going to put the chicken back in here just to warm it through. And that is the dish. That's all you have to do. And in literally less than 30 minutes. Um, this dish you can serve any way you want. You can have it with a nice beautiful salad, you can do it with a side of pasta, or your favorite steamed vegetable, it's up to you. You, you can actually just eat it on its own just like this. Um, I like it with pasta. Yeah, it's nice with pasta, it really is. Um, when I was growing up, what was for dinner was for dinner. We didn't, my mom didn't make separate meals for the kids. But if you're concerned that your little ones won't like this, what you can do with another chicken breast is either cut it up into strips or you can buy it already cut up into the little tenderloin strips. Take um, a handful of tortilla chips and crush them up. Again, you can crush them in a baggie by hand or you can crush them in your food processor. Add like, um, a little bit of cumin powder, like a quarter teaspoon of cumin powder and three quarters of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Mix that with the tortilla chips. Beat an egg and dip the chicken strips in the egg and then coat them in the tortilla chips. You throw those in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes so their little chicken strips will be done at the same time as your puntanesca and give them some, what do you call that stuff, honey mustard? They'll love it. Nice okay. Op nice option. Yeah, I think so. So that's it. That's the end of the meal. I'm going to go ahead and just put my chicken back in here to warm up. And dinner is ready. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, everybody, as usual, please stay safe, stay well, wash your hands, wear your mask, virtual hugs. Love you. Bye-bye.